Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are reacting to the evolution of music by Pentatonix. Let's go. Have you seen something like this book for dance? Yes. Yeah, I, I, know exactly, I know exactly the video you talked about. Yeah. That, that video was so dope. <laughs> Iconic music video. You know what's funny? We did one of the reactions and the beat from that came on. And mm -hmm. I mixed up the name of the song from previous before in that video. Because mm -hmm. I've watched it so many. That's such an iconic <laughs> video. Yeah, it's funny. Okay, so I guess that's a switch up from the 11th century to 1600s. Yeah. Question is, how do they know what singing was like in the 11th century? Oh, that's I don't know how to answer that. Same like with sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundreds, I, I can like mm, based on the instruments that were available, um, based on paintings, based on like writing. But this is like kinda, singing. It's not. It's no yeah, but still, someone had to write about like someone's performance, and we kind of mm. decipher. I mean, I'm not, that. obviously, I'm not saying they know. Not they. Like, how do people know yeah, historians? I'm not like, talking about them particularly. I think from like writings, people's stories, mm. word of mouth. You, you, grandma shared with her kids. I, I think kids, from like eighteen hundreds and up, it's like the grandma, gra you know, shared, shared. Because you know, oftentimes people are singing songs. Yeah, they no, learn I, from I think you're right. Culture, I think you're right. You know? it's, it's word of mouth. Mm -hmm. it's from 1600, it's probably possible that you know, travel yeah, like mouth, eight yeah. generations or something. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. like, we could say, like, people will talk about like music today, years from now. Well, but now we have recordings. Yeah, now play. it's more elevated. Yeah. But it would be like, I sing them a song, and your kids will sing mm -hmm. them a song, and then that mm -hmm. came. Yeah, no, you're right. So I noticed the difference between for the 1600s versus 11th century is the upbeatness, the happiness. Now 1800s is giving dramatic, dramatica. I know these songs, so I didn't realize mm -hmm. the song. I, I know the, the 1600s and the 1800s. Yeah. I didn't realize this that old. Yeah, can you imagine? See, you do so because you learn from like. History culture is very, very yeah no because the the one the sixteen hundred is like a Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. This song is like a church music or something mm -hmm. almost, but I didn't realize it that old. <laughs> this one seems so so cool. Yeah, this what one is, is this? like this is like. Even like the slavery music, the 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 blues, the hymns that the people would sing mm -hmm. while they work, it's like all the songs reflect the time period. So that's why it's so interesting to hear it. So you understand. Mm -hmm. This is like jazz and scat, like. Where you go to the jazz lounge and you hear skits, 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 skits. So that's 30s? Yeah, this I, is mean, 30s really I mean, interesting. I mean, I'm only guessing. You know. I'm, right, I'm just like hard to believe. Oh, these are the ladies that, you know, what's it called? That, like, the, step, the Stepford Wives, you know, what is Stepford Wives? Mm -hmm. They were wearing, like, um, it may not be this time period, like the poodle dress, that the classic, you know, look that that mom looked. No idea these. what you're talking about. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a little hip hop influence. Well, not a hip hop, but that's where probably the hip hop took the beat. Mm. Because the fifties, it's like there's a little bass to it. Oh, this is Ooh. When the boys are singing for the girls. I wonder why they filmed this like in black and white and not in color. I wonder if we're gonna get color. Uh, it seems like we're getting a little more color. Uh, a little bit by little. This was 
Oh. Black and white. Now they're a little. There's a, so is a this shade. a test for color blindness too as well? I'm, I'm offended. <laughs> it's a little. They're yeah. they're getting some warmth in yeah, their faces. Yeah, I see like. that. Oh, this is a I, th I think it's also reflecting the cameras that were available at the time, too. Oh, so they're, they're shooting. The I think a, I, I do, they're doing like a 60s filter right now. Mm -hmm. I think the 70s, they're going to do 70s filter and eventually we'll get full yeah. color. I see uh, this. Uh, that's bad. I think this one is Avi. He used to be in the Pentatonics, and no longer in Pentatonics. Uh, I don't know the team. Yeah, but, but the guy doing the beatbox mm -hmm. is really good. Mm -hmm. the, he's really he's still good. here. I remember him uh, in the most recent yeah. Uh, yeah, reaction the, that we I did. Yeah, I remember that too. But he's really the mm -hmm. beat. The beat is fantastic. <laughs> As we go on through the uh, decades closer to now, yeah. then they're doing uh, more and more songs. I guess from back in those times, there was only one song available or uh -huh. remaining. <laughs> they do this evolution of something but I like when they also do with the change of the outfits I feel like the outfit changes oh, that's extra oh, that would be extra. extra that would be extra no I like this <laughs> oh my god, he's killing the beatbox. No, the beatbox it's is crucial. impeccable. Oh my, yeah, the singing is impressive too, but the beatbox, oh my, it sounds like yeah. the original beat. Yeah. Like, now, you don't even need no instrument. I don't know how nothing. many people know how to do this skill, but if they go on to America's Got Talent, they definitely will go, I, go really far. Really like, yeah, I could like, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to get closer. To it's close, two thousands. It's close. That is still. That's like nah. way back when. Nah. Uh, who sings that? I love it. Pharrell? I don't remember. Uh, Echo. And so much. I thought that was like. No, I think it's John Legend. No, it's, no, gnar Legend. it's gnarly. It's really crazy. They play this song all the time. But that's 2000s? Yes. Oh my god, the time is flying. <laughs> No, well, that's late. That's like single ladies, maybe 2008. I, I mean, it would fall then. To, okay, if it's 2008, yeah. So, 2000, they accomplish a lot. It's, I guess, it. It is 2000s, it is technically 2000s, but to me... But it should be 2000s, 2010s. No, they're going to split it, I think. Yeah, there's going to be 10s. But to me, like, 2009 and 2002, it's very different, different in, like, yeah. in my head. So, like, when I think 2000s, I think, like, 2002. Like, 2009, because I they think Katy Perry They didn't do any rock. It's, it's hard without the guitar, 2005 had... Rock, yeah, like a lot, but because, like, in my head, you know, 2009, like Katy Perry, right now, they're singing I Kissed a Girl, that's like too, too tense mm -hmm. to me. But I'm, I know what, what, they, what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was really cool. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Yeah. I'm glad we chose this reaction. Yes. It's really cool. So, guys, we want to know what was your favorite time period? Let me know down in the comments below. What's your favorite time period of music? Woo! This is so interesting. Now, can you imagine the years to come? I feel like they didn't even include techno. Wow. How techno is all beat? How, how are we going to do techno? You know, he did say that don't be offended if we use exactly. some of your so, so I'm going to take that advice. So guys, if you made it this far, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fam and as always send in your recommendations to what you want us to react to next from Pentatonix. As always, share as much kindness as possible. Bye guys!